Are your Power BI car design falling flat? Do they feel cluttered, overwhelming, or just uninspiring? Well, that's about to change. In this video, I'm taking on a challenge, mastering six habits that will transform Power BI cards from basic to breathtaking. Will I succeed? Well, stick around and find out. Too often, Power BI developers focus solely on data without considering how it's being presented. And let's be honest, if your insights are not clear and engaging, they won't have the impact they deserve. That's when design comes in. With a few simple changes, you can have car designs that pop, grab attention, and tell a compelling story at a glance. In this video, we'll break down the six essential habits that separate average car designs from truly stunning ones. By the end, you'll have the knowledge and inspiration to create Power BI car design that will wow your audience and create excitement every single time. So, are you ready to upgrade your Power BI skills? Let's dive in. Less is more. Avoid clutter. Focus on the metric. One of the biggest mistakes in Power BI car design is trying to cram too much information into a small space. Cards should present a single, clear insight without overwhelming the viewer. Use one KPI per card to ensure clarity. If you need multiple metrics, consider using separate cards instead of overloading one and turn off the unnecessary labels and headers that don't add value. A common mistake? Adding too much text inside a card or overloading it with extra visuals like icons, making it hard to read. Use colors strategically. Use colors to guide attention, not just for decoration. Colors should highlight the key inside, not create visual noise. Use them to signal trends, changes or alerts. Conditional formatting. Use it to change a card's color dynamically based on performance. For example, red for negative growth, green for positive. Stick to two or three colors for consistency and here's where Power BI themes can help. And use high contrast text to ensure readability. Common mistake? Using too many bright or clashing colors that distract rather than enhance comprehension. Typography matters. Your font choice affects readability and users' perception. Fonts influence how professional or polished your card looks. Avoid the full Power BI font that feel outdated or too generic. Stick to modern, clean fonts like Segui UI. Font hierarchy matters. Use bold fonts for emphasis, KPI values, and regular fonts for labels. Font size balance. Ensure the main number is large and readable, but the supporting text isn't too tiny. Common mistake? Using overly decorative fonts that look unprofessional or cramming too much text, making the card unreadable. Guide the viewer's eyes. Structure your card layout to direct attention effectively. A well-designed card naturally draws the user's attention to the most important metric first. Increase font size of the main metric to make it the focal point. Use alignment, left, center or right, based on readability and apply shadows, borders or subtle backgrounds to create contrast and separation. Common mistake? Having the car title or units take up too much space, pushing the KPI value into a smaller, harder to read area. Clean, clear and balanced designs. Give your data room to breathe. Overcrowding card with too much numbers, text or visuals reduces its impact. White space improves focus and readability. Reduce padding, but don't remove it completely. Spacing matters. Leave enough space between multiple cards for the best contrast. If a card looks too crowded, remove unnecessary elements like labels that repeat information. Common mistake? Making card borders too tight or placing them too close together, which reduces legibility. Make cards dynamic. Power BI isn't static. Leverage its interactive features. Unlike static dashboards, Power BI allows interactivity. A good card should respond dynamically to the user's input. Use slices and field parameters to create interactive views, or use measures with switch or DAX logic to create cards that adapt based on filters. 
common mistake, not making use of the interactivity leading to static and less engaging cards. By applying the six habits in the Power BI desktop, you will create card designs that are stunning, effective and user-friendly. And if you aren't access to all the measures that I've used along with commentary and explanation, all you need to do is become a member of the channel. And should you choose so, you will also have early access to all the videos plus many more other perks. If you found this video useful, then be sure to check this other video where I transform the random report that I found on the web that is filled with more design mistakes. This is Stellian, signing off, until next time, cheerio!